You need to make an atonement for your sins, but you think you're sinless. But I assure you, Jesus cannot save you. I have that mythical spear of destiny. If you stand in truth, you'll gain the favor of your creator. And I've been pointing out in many videos, you should be shaken to your fucking core. You know, I am Satan himself in the flesh. With millions of witnesses. Thousands of motherfuckers with their blood beside my own. I have the spear of destiny. And I'm taking over this world. Nobody has to like me. It's just that simple. I stand in truth. And uh, we're going to bring forth heaven on this earth. It's that nobody can stop me. Because everybody's legally dead in a filthy, retarded monkey. And they can't even see it unless I personally spell it out for them. So, as far as I'm concerned. You know, all I have to do is stand in truth and make videos pointing at the Holy Grail. In a couple of years. I'll have millions upon millions of people woken up, and uh, we're going to get out of here alive. And we're going to go get to this holy grail, we're going to drink those living waters, come back here, bring heaven forth on earth, and then we're going to get the fuck out of here. Go back to above the waters, and wake up above the firmament. That's what it is, people. You're in the fucking matrix. One electron bounced by a positron. One light hole, one black hole on loop. You don't have to like it. You're in the fucking light bulb right now, underneath the embryonic fluid. And it's rubbed in your face. How people don't see it makes no sense to me. And uh, everything's set up this way for a reason. As long as nobody can see anything, then this world is mine. Look at your compass needle. That red line is pointing to the center of the flat earth plane. Where there's a holy hole. Where the sun must place its light in or there's no astral jet aurora borealis coming out. So when you get to the edge of the earth, you see the monolith. And if you jump over the monolith, you end up in the Mobius Strip. You end up right back where you started from. It's just that simple. You're in the holodeck. There's no way to fuck this up. One electron balanced by a positron. One light hole, one black hole on loop. It's in the light bulb underneath the embryonic fluid. It's the division symbol. The sun above your head is spiraling in and spiraling out, bringing the seasons. It's 32 nautical miles in diameter. At high noon, it's 3,100 miles away from you. The black sun is fixed. It's at the center of the flat earth plane. The everyone enter her eye zone. Out from that hole comes the Aurora Borealis. This is the fountain of youth, and you need to get here before you're dead. It doesn't matter what anybody believes. It is this simple. You don't have to like it. It's true. We're living in the matrix for real. That's a parabolic mirror, a dome above your head. And above that is the embryonic fluid. And it's a dome and a parabolic mirror for a reason, because the sun is a disk that's 32 nautical miles in diameter, and it, over the earth, spiraling inward and outward over the flat earth plane, bringing the seasons. Very simple. And if the sun is not eaten by the black hole sun at the center of the flat earth plane at the Holy of Holies, then there's no feedback loop, no aurora borealis, no infinite potential, no earth's memory, no goddess of the earth. And uh, none of this would exist. And uh, it'll take people years to figure out this stuff, probably. Um... You know, but I guess you could take it step by step. You know, the black sun is 800 nautical miles in diameter. It's fixed so that the green astral jet can come shooting out of the Holy of Holies and uh, hit the parabolic mirror and shower down you. So this is the great dragon Typhon and Sut joined in an androgynous relationship. This is the feedback loop, the infinite potential, the Earth's memory, the Aurora Borealis. It's that women do hula hooping and belly dancing. It's all... A representation of this goddess force that's running through your little universe. And uh, above the firmament, there's living bodies. 144,000 living beings. That's why it's a book of the life. A book of life. And you went to grammar school to learn your book of the dead. And they have your soul print in the Vatican. And you may say, no, they don't have my soul print yet. But you're not in heaven right now. You're not drinking from the living waters. You're, my God, you're slaving for worthless paper backed by your own stupidity. And... You're like, my God, you're getting stuffed with all those vaccines and all that other shit. You're a cannibal living in Sodom and Gomorrah. They put aborted baby fetuses into your vaccines and foods. Now, I'm bringing forth heaven and earth. As far as I'm concerned, nobody can stop me because all I see out there is retarded monkey cockroaches floating in a ball through space. They all think they're accidents and they have no divinity. So, taking over this world is going to be easy.